This is a quick tutorial on how to update the firmware for your blister device. Now, the whole process only takes a couple of moments thanks to a very handy script that you can run right from the mister itself. And I recommend going through this process once every couple of months or so, just to make sure that you stay current with the most recent firmware updates and compatibility tweaks and new features that are getting released pretty regularly by the Blissbox team. First, you'll want to grab the Blister Updater script from the Lappy GitHub repo that I'll link below. This script was written by Resbit, the same person who manages and updates the low latency API cores. In fact, while you're here, you can also grab the Update Lappy script, which is the one that downloads and updates those cores. Remember to right-click the link and select Save As while you're downloading them, as opposed to just copying and pasting the body of the text itself, as that could lead to some formatting issues and your mister might not know how to deal with them. Now that you have the scripts, go ahead and copy them to your scripts folder on your SD card. Power on your mister device, make sure you have an internet connection and a USB keyboard or gamepad attached, press the menu key or F12, navigate to scripts, and run the blister updater script. It will download the most current version of the Blister firmware and prompt you with further instructions. When it references the Blister reset buttons, it's talking about these two buttons on either side next to the HDMI style Bliss ports. The Blister has two chips and we'll be updating both of them. So we'll be running the script twice in succession. What you'll do is hold one of the reset buttons down, wait three seconds, and then press a key on the keyboard to flash the firmware, keeping that reset button held down the entire time. Once it's done flashing, release the reset button and go back to the menu. There, you're done for that port. Now you'll need to go through the whole process again for the bliss port and reset button on the other side. Press and hold. One, two, three. And keep that button press held while the firmware flashes. That's it. Now, if you didn't follow the procedure exactly right, don't worry about it too much. If an error message pops up, more often than not, just rerunning the script will iron everything out. Say, for instance, if you forgot to wait three seconds in between hitting this reset button and pressing a key on the keyboard. You just tap it and then mash the space bar. You could see an error opening hid device error message. Ooh. In that case, just run the script again and it should be right as rain. Now, on the contrary, if you forget to keep the button held down the entire time during the flashing process, it could very well corrupt the firmware on this device. In that case, you can always recover from a bad flash by powering off your Mr. Device, pressing and holding the reset button while awkwardly powering the Mr. on, and you'll want to keep this reset button held down throughout the entire process of booting up your mister, navigating to the scripts folder, and running the flashing process from scratch. I have flashed firmwares on these blisters dozens upon dozens of times while testing different beta firmwares, and if it were possible to brick these devices, I probably would have done so by now. There you go. With that, you should be all set. You are now on the most recent version of the Blister firmware on both ports. And remember to update often. For now, you can take your favorite controller, take your Blister for a spin, and see if you notice any changes. And if you have any questions or need help with your Blister or any of the Lappy cores, remember that Blister and Lappy are not officially supported by the main Mister project, but there is a Blissbox Discord server as well as a Blissbox channel in the Classical Gaming Discord server where members of the community should be able to help you out. I'll go ahead and link to both of those in the description. And for now, enjoy, play games, have fun, and thank you for watching.